It's 6 a.m. Just about. I just woke up. I'm going to a track day. Somebody's coming to pick me up. I don't even know who. Never met these people. Don't even know what bike I'm riding. Don't know what tires, what bike. All I have is me, my gear, a couple cameras, and I know it's a Triumph day, so I'm going to ride with people that also ride Triumphs. So this should be interesting. I don't know what I'm getting into, but it should be cool. So let's go for the ride, see what happens. Time to hurry up and wait. Our ride is here. Yeah, I did just text you and then Steve just messaged me and said, are you close? And I said, yeah, four minutes away. <laughs> White Park. Never heard of this place before. Don't know where we are. Middle of a field. Middle of a field, literally a cornfield. Corn. <laughs> oh my. But. It's some tarmac. A little rainy, yeah. This is. I hope this isn't as wide as the track. Yeah, that'll make it interesting. But, <laughs> it's not bad. Cornfields, shit. I, I think that might be the starter tower over there. That's a little. It's a grandstand. Interesting. Oh no, that's grandstand. About yeah. twenty people. Wow. What an interesting place. Literally the middle of a field. There's actually more people here than I thought there would be. To yeah. be fair. It's a triumph day. That guy's got a Honda. <laughs> I think he's in the wrong place. Yeah. Street triples everywhere. Yeah, there are lots, aren't there? Yes, there Here at the track. Ripping one of these beauties today. Let's go. You'll see a lot of these hoodies around today. This is a Facebook group, Triumph Triple Riders. It's aimed at everyone who rides street speeds, Daytonas, Tigers. Um, everyone who rides Triumph basically and uh, that's the main organisation that we've organised this day for. Uh, we have brought in some extra people from other groups but... Go around top S's into old Airfin. Well I was racing one of them and... Job coaching. First time knee down. Let's go. <laughs> it's for the vlog. You gotta say something funny. Oh, uh, uh, he rides both my bikes better than I do. And he's only good for
Alright guys, so I'm back after the track day. Um, wanted to thank the whole TTR group for uh, having me out. I got picked up from my door and dropped off to my house. And uh, it's a great experience. Everybody there was super friendly, super nice people. Everybody was letting me ride their bikes and just generally had a good day, just hanging out, enjoying it. Um, got to ride again and enjoy myself. So. Yeah, I had a great time. Thanks to them guys for having me out. Yeah, I got home and I was thinking, I'm like, how can I make this video like a little bit helpful for newer track riders? Because there was definitely a lot of people at this track day that were either new to that specific track or newer to track days in general. I wanted to see if I could give some tips to people that are struggling a little bit or are new to track days. So here's the top four things that I would do if I was a novice at a track day. So the first thing for sure that I would say is hold your line. If you're newer, just try and be predictable and follow uh, follow your line. Don't worry about what other people are doing. Just go where you're planning on going, uh, where you think you need to go, and let the other people have to worry about passing you. Don't worry about, oh, somebody's gonna pass me here, somebody's gonna pass me there. Just forget all that and just uh, focus on what you're doing. Don't worry about anybody else. Second thing is for, okay, you, you might be a novice, you might be an intermediate, something like this, um, and there's some slower people, don't pass them close. Like all you're doing is knocking their confidence, making them feel bad and scaring the shit out of them and then they don't wanna to come to another day. So end of the day, we're all a moto community, we're all family, so just uh, be nice, pass people with respect and, and I'm sure uh, everybody would be happy. So just try and do that as a, a common courtesy of the track days. Another thing is if you have a question about anything, just ask. At, even if it's the guy next to you or it's the organization, like the guy who runs the organization or whoever it is, just find somebody and ask. Everybody that tracks generally uh, pretty nice and willing to help. So whatever it is, just go find somebody, ask them, and uh, see what they say. In worst case, they don't have an answer for you, but they might point you in the direction of somebody that can answer a question for you. So everybody that tracks willing to help. Don't be shy. It's uh, like I said before, it's a big family. So just. Uh, Go out of your way, ask questions, you'll learn so much. You just uh, be willing to soak in everybody's information. And for sure, there's gonna be people telling you the wrong stuff, there always is. Um, even to me, at, at my level, there's people, they tell me one thing and I'll go try it because I try everything. And then I just weed out the stuff that doesn't work for me. So um, yeah, just uh, ask questions, try and learn. The last tip that I had was get your eyes up when you're going into a corner. You should be looking to the next corner, like at least through the corner that you're in as far as you can. See what's coming up. Just uh, try and keep you as prepared as you can for uh, anything that can pop up in the middle of a corner. You know, you never know what's going to be in front of you. I know that seems weird me saying that and you're on a track, but you, you never know. Somebody could have just crashed or some knee slider could have fell off, something crazy like that. Or somebody's bike could have blown up. Like you never know what, what's on the surface ahead of you. So. Just uh, try and pay as much of attention to that as you can, but also get your eyes up and look look through the corner, look to the next apex. It'll also help you with steering the bike, believe it or not. like For whatever reason, when you look fo more forward, the bike kind of does what you want it to do anyways. It's more like a, I don't know why, actually. I have no idea why, but it just does. So if I'm entering this corner and I'm already looking at the exit on the other side of the corner, I still hit the spot that I'm trying to hit in the corner, but I'm not looking at it. And, and I still get to the exit. So um, yeah, it's one of those things. Like you're always looking a step ahead of where you're actually at. So um, try and do that or start working on that. It takes years to develop it. Um, I'm still not perfect at it. So um, yeah, those are the four things that I think would help any beginner or intermediate rider at a track day. If you guys have any questions, just leave them down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. That really helps, uh, really helps me out really helps out with uh, building our YouTube channel and getting this information that we do put out and the cool videos we put out to more people. Um, so for sure, click the little bell down there and the subscribe button and uh, yeah, just uh, helps us out, I appreciate it. And like I said before, thanks to the whole TTR group uh, on Facebook for having me out to this track day and it was a good time. Hopefully I can get to more days and yeah, looking forward to going racing.